in Canada language, do they are they also considered ridiculously nice people like the Canada people here? Aha. Uh -huh. In case you didn't know that. The Canadians, Canadians are, are super nice. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction feed. It's Corbin. Ashley. Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter yeah, for more juicy content. So yeah. Juicy. Yeah. Uh, get yeah. it all over your face. Uh. And uh, thank you for social media. Follow us on Facebook Twitter account. Today we are reacting to a Canada trailer. Canada. <laughs> we, we have not done a lot of these. Uh, True. I think is was was KGF Canada. Canada. It could have been. You can let me know in the comments. It was three languages. Yeah, but and yes, I believe it was. Right, I believe it was, was Hindi. Canada. Um, but yes, <laughs> this is called Uli uh, Davar. <laughs> Uli Dalvaru Kandalpe. No! Corbinized! Ugh, it's back! Well, it's what I love is that you didn't like Jerry Lewis. Little do I know, I know. Uli Dalvaru? Mm hmm. Kandante. And, uh. Rakshit Shetty, Kishore, and Akut Kumar, and Tara. I have. Or Tara. Somewhere it could know. be Tara, but it made me think. You of, don't know! I have a cousin named Tara who I haven't seen in years, so, so Tara, if you're out there, hi. So do I. No idea what it's about. It's a, it's a, it's a trailer. It's a kind of a trailer, right? Which we haven't Look at done. You a lot. pronouncing it? Here we go. I screwed it up on the 500k video and called it Canada, like the country. You did, idiot. Here we no. go. Wait, pronounce Tamil. Antonio
ಬಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿಸ್ ಯಾವ ಸರಿ ಯಾವ ತಪ್ಪು ಯಾವ ಸತ್ಯ ಯಾವ ಸುಳ್ಳು ಅವರ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಕೋನದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಬದಲಾಗುತ್ತೆ inventive, inventive creative original trailer really? that was awesome awesome like wow i'm so interested in this it so, was so, so cool. off the bat please let us know how this was because that looked awesome um i, I want to look up the uh, synopsis and who's involved and, and everything all like that. kinds of different styles it was yeah. like robert rodriguez and then it was like a scorsese in a couple spots and then it was oh. like a How are you doing there? Great. <laughs> you shouldn't have schnapps before you come on the channel. It wasn't schnapps, it was scotch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was so cool. Yeah, it was awesome. The, uh, it, it was so, like, one, the score was really, really good. Really, really, really yeah. good. It had bits and pieces of Mission Impossible theme-ish. Right? Not, not that it was Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to clarify that every time. <laughs> <laughs> But it had some of those moments in there, like you think it's going to be like almost a spy-ish, like no, it didn't But look then spy. It wasn't. But the, no, then and then it, it was all of that stuff that was like 300. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm trying to figure out, maybe it was Baby Driver. I don't know if y'all saw that. Heck yeah. I just <laughs> love Baby Driver. Did it, when he was racing, did it go into almost cartoonish? And no, it never did. Well, like the, the drawing? shots? No, it never did. It Maybe never I'm thinking did, of a like, different film. Robert Rodriguez did that in a couple of his films. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one, but like when they went into action times, sometimes they would go into uh, almost like, almost comic yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they looked like they were doing that at certain points, right? which was really really cool, uh, super interesting uh, concept. Great trailer. Uh, that was that was a fantastic trailer. Even the ending with the little thing with them all coming out. Right, the one at a time. Yeah, it looks like it has a. A lot of cool plot points. And it looks like it just gets weird. Like, what was with, the, what was with yeah. the cats? I don't know. And him dancing I with really all the cats. Read this one. Go for it. Canada language. Neo noir. Got that. Crime drama anthology. Note. In the lead role is the writer and debutante director of the film, Rakshit Shetty. The film involves an anthology of five stories connected to an incident of a person's murder with each character narrating it in his own perspective. That's so cool. So it's five, so cool. five different cool. perspectives of the same event. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. That is super cool. It reminded cool. me of something. I just can't remember what it was. Um, and obviously it's... So original. Canada. So original. Uh, let's see what their synopsis is real quick. Go ahead, Ashley. Journalist sets out to uncover the truth behind the incident through the perspectives of different people, unraveling how they and their lives are intertwined with it. Came out in 2014, which yeah. looked really good for being that old. It looked like more recent, didn't it? Yeah, well, that's not that. It's only five years ago. Uh, the director, Doug Siv, I don't think yeah. we've seen him, but... Yeah, we have, We've because it's the, it's the star. Yeah. I don't it, I don't see anything that I recognize, that recognize from. That we've seen him in? Um... Let me see here. I, I thought I recognized him. Ricky. No, I don't think we've ever seen him in anything. Never! He must have come to me in a dream. But, man, that looked... With the bald monkeys and butter. Whoa. That looked awesome. They And it was quite interesting how they did... Obviously, the, the main story... Uh, uh, maybe not the main story, but the guy <laughs> with the gun that came yeah. out with the Tony Montana. Yes. That, yeah, what was oh, that? Oh, my goodness. I am uh, Tony Montana. Maybe he's like almost the comedic relief. Aspect. For the thing, yeah. Uh, if he's got to have a moment then where he says, Say hello to my, my little friend. friend! You don't know what Tony Montana is. You got where, to say man. Where have you been living? Um, In a hole. <laughs> but then they had the whole love story <laughs> aspect as well. But he was forced to join a war. What like, war? Uh, there's a, well, it could be like a gag And then war. cats was happening. Like the, the other thing, I'm glad I'm remembering this. As I was watching it, aside from the uniqueness, but man... 
so many times I am impressed with the intelligence quotient of the cinematographers and the directors. Yeah. The, the, the work of cinematography that we have seen come out of India is some of the most, they know their stuff from all of the film industries of India. I mean, they're, they're, I have been deeply, deeply impressed with some, especially some of the ones that are not from Bollywood slash Hindi, that are from lesser known industries that, yeah. that we've never even heard of until we started doing this channel. Yeah. And I watched some Oscar level visuals just in the framing of shots, the symmetry of shots, the, the beauty of understanding the art form and mastering it. Uh, this had some of those shots in there. I'm like, dang, you guys, you know what the heck you're doing with your cinematography. Yeah. They're just gorgeous. Quite, quite impressive. Like, Very especially impressive. like there are a lot of, especially the South Indian ones that we've seen. Uh, whatever language they're in, they're very similar to like a Vishal Bardwash, um, like uh, cinematography wise, mm -hmm. really dark and beautiful a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree? No? I No, <laughs> I would. The only, <laughs> no? the only reason I was hesitating with that is because so much of what we've seen of his stuff is, is so uh, gritty. Yeah. Almost handheld gritty. Yeah. Whereas a lot of the time I see visuals in here that they're not, um, they're not Sanjay, but they have... Uh, uh, it's like a gear mode dark beauty, like hyper realistic yeah, yeah, dark beauty. Yeah, hyper realistic, hyper realistic dark beauty, yeah. where yeah. you know a lot of time was spent to set up the shot. Yeah. yeah. Um, Vishal, I know he does that, but I also get the feeling, and I love this about him, I get the feeling that he just does stuff on the fly. Mm. Uh -huh. That he'll have a vision for something, and then while he's on set, he goes, I want to do it this way, let's go. Let's set this up over here, we've got this light right now, I want to catch this right now. Whereas, and they're, they're, I'm not saying one's better than the other. It's just different. Yeah, the aesthetic styles, hits me yeah. where, like when you watch Sanjay, it's like, okay, that, that five second shot took all day yeah. to set it up and shoot it. And I get the same thing from some of these shots that, yeah, even probably. the symmetry, that one shot, when you go back, if you look at this trailer again, when they're, he's sitting on the beach and it's the back shot of oh, him yeah. and the girl, the symmetry of that shot, the space between the top of frame and the bottom of frame and the shoreline, uh -huh. and then the horizon above it, it's just mathematically, and the, the, the juxtaposition of her and him and how that sits, it's just beautiful cinematography. Yeah. Yeah. Please let us know how this is. Uh, I'm hoping it is as good as it looks. Yeah. Uh, what other can, can, Canada? Is it pronounced Canada or Canada? Canada. Uh, do you know Ash? No, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I I thought it was Canada. Like it's pronounced no different than the country. Well, maybe. we pronounce a bunch of stuff wrong. No kidding. Like uh, Punjabi. And Sorry we, about it. Well, we used to say Ashwari Ray, and it's Ashwari Rai, hmm. and it's it's technically we've been saying Amitabh Bakchan, and apparently it's Amitabh Bakchan. Yeah. Yeah. Bakchan. Well, it was like not Ranveer, Runveer, and it wasn't Apnatime Aiga. It's Apnatime Aiga. Mm -hmm. Did you know this? Well, we were also pronounced, I don't know if you've seen the recent videos, but we were pronounced uh, Punjabi wrong. Yeah, I know. It's, but you know what we nail every time Pun, we... It's Pun, Punjab. Well, you know what we nail Punjab. every time we say it. Not Punjab. Swades. Oh, yeah. <laughs>